Hello and welcome to another edition of Games You Might Be Missing. If you're unfamiliar with this, every day I go on Steam, see what just came out, look a bit into the future, see what's coming out, and then I present this list of games that I think you might be interested in that you might not have already known about. Although I'm thinking most of this list you'll probably know about. In any case, let's get started. First on the list is Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you know about this franchise, you know there probably have been like 11 or 12 of them, and this is just Microsoft Flight Simulator. What I think they're doing here is, first of all, they pretty much scan the planet. They're using actual satellite maps, and sometimes even LiDAR scans. They have every airport in the world. Some of them are actually built by hand to match the original, and some of them are just procedurally generated to match the originals. And what I've heard thus far, this seems to be a generational leap compared to the other flight simulators. It's not a very intense game, there aren't a lot of missions, don't expect any aerial combat, but if you want the pure piloting experience of just flying from here to there, you probably can't beat this game. It's coming out August 18th, which is in less than two weeks, and it's gonna cost you about $60. Battletoads, if you're unfamiliar, is a rare game from 1991. It's a basic platformer, or at least it was, and now it's getting remade by a sub-studios of Microsoft and Rare. It had the reputation of being incredibly difficult and punishing and sometimes even unfair, and I hope this time we're going to get a different view of it. So yeah, not just platforming, you get beat-em-ups, all that chaos, classic, and they do hand-drawn animation. So this is at least going to be very interesting. Coming out in about two weeks, which is August 20th, no price yet. If you haven't seen it, Superliminal already had a console release and an Epic Game Store release, and now it's coming to Steam. It's a puzzle game, probably not a very long one, not a very complicated one, but it's a very interesting one because you solve puzzles by moving things about, and the way you move them changes their size, like this. And that's how you traverse the levels. It's very interesting, I wanted to play it but I haven't got a chance to, and I thought you should at least know about it. It was to come out in November, about a year after EGS. That's it. Add it to your list. Right now. The original Everspace was an arcade space simulator, roguelike, without much of a story. It had some good merits and it had some bad parts. I didn't play it because I didn't feel like a basic roguelike, just like that, is very interesting. But they do promise a bigger story for Everspace 2. I've already seen some uh, early access footage of it. And since I love space simulators, even if they're roguelike, even if they're more arcadey, I thought I'd mention this. It definitely looks cool. If you missed all the announcement, the next game in the Halo franchise is coming Holiday 2020 to Xbox and PC. You can find it here also on Holiday 2020. And it's sort of going back to the roots of Halo. You can see some game footage if you go back to the Xbox game show and watch it there. It looks pretty good. It's Halo. So you probably already know about it, but I had to mention it. Frictional Games made the original Amnesia The Dark Descent, and then they made Soma, they took a break for Amnesia Machine for Pigs, someone else did that, and now they're coming back with Amnesia Rebirth. Honestly, I played the original game for about 2-3 hours and I didn't like it, but I know a lot of people did, so here's the next installment, coming sometime in 2020, which probably means closer to November or December, if it's not going to be postponed even further. Here's the page, like it if you do. And as always, if you like what I do, please follow my Facebook page, my Twitter account, my YouTube channel, my Twitch channel. Everything will be appreciated. Thank you for watching. Stay good. Have fun.